And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. The story is told of some missionaries who were going to the South Pacific. And as they drew near to New Guinea, the captain of the ship said to the leader of this little band of faithful missionaries, Listen, I really feel badly about this. This land is littered with white graves. It's tropical disease. It's hopeless. You'll never get out of this place alive. I'll tell you what. I'll take you no charge back to England. I'll just, just out of my own heart, I've got to stop in Australia, and then back to England, I'll take you. Because he said, if you go here, you're going to die. The missionary calmly said, we're not going to die here. How can you be so sure? They said, we died before we ever left England. And that's it, isn't it? You take an athlete that has lived his life to the roar of the crowd, he's died, and you take the casket by an amphitheater, and the crowd is roaring and clapping. It doesn't mean a thing to him, does it, anymore? And all the things that are so attractive to the natural man, when we've been down to the Jordan, and we've been cut off from the world system, and we realize that we haven't just been separated from Egypt, we've been separated to God. God has given us a land flowing with milk and honey, and it's all for us. Who'd settle for the leeks and the onions and the garlics of Egypt? All that food, it has been noticed, grows on the ground or under the ground. You've got to grubble to get it. But the food of the land of Canaan, you had to reach up for it. It grew on trees, the fig and the olive and the vine. It was something that was above the earth. It was something special that God had provided for his people. The world grovels for all that it has. And by the way, the food of Egypt, well, I can smell it on your breath. Leeks, onions, garlic, melons, and cucumbers. If you've been eating in Egypt, I can smell it on your breath. If you've been living in the world, if that's where you've been feeding... You're not with me very long before I can tell where you've been feeding. And if you've been enjoying the things of the world, I can smell it. I can tell. For the scripture says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And if your heart is full of Egypt, that's what you'll talk about. But if your heart is full of Christ, that's what you'll talk about.